Hey, what's up there folks? Uh, Earthmaster here on this uh, Saturday evening. Close to Saturday night for uh, some folks here. Still kind of early out here on the West Coast. 4.36 p.m. December 28, 2019. Uh, doing an earthquake video update. Uh, but before I, w before I jump into the earthquake update out here, I do want to mention tonight um, we got a Venus-Moon conjunction. That's for tonight, this evening. So looking towards your southwest for some of you folks probably right about now mountain and central time you guys are looking at uh, uh viewing this thing right now for us here in california pretty close probably uh within about an hour or so but anyway towards the southwest venus and the moon uh very close in this conjunction here if you guys do have clear skies out there, I would recommend going out and checking out the crescent of the moon along with the uh, beautiful bright planet of Venus uh, directly in the vicinity there, in the vicinity right there next to the moon. Uh, unfortunately, here in California, we got some storm clouds rolling in. Uh, we got a low pressure system bringing in some rainfall tomorrow to the area. So we're getting a lot of uh, mid and high level clouds in the region, which is pretty much completely blacking out my uh, my potential to view this tonight. But uh, I do hope you guys get to see it. Go check it out. Uh, it's always neat to see a, a moon and, a, and a, uh, a beautiful planet right next to each other there. Um, getting back to the earthquake update real quick. I do want to show you guys the real time trimmer map once again here. We've been kind of keeping a close eye on the uh, Cascadia subduction zone over the past oh, few days or so ever since they had that uh, sequence of quakes off the coast of Vancouver Island there on the Juan de Fuca plate this here is delayed one day this is the PNSN trimmer map on the Cascadia subduction zone monitoring uh, website there shows uh, an uptick once again in trimmer being picked up in southern Oregon and uh, more specifically there in northern California and uh, it's, it's looking pretty active once again, folks. Yesterday, uh, we had a day of fairly quiet activity, not a whole lot of earthquake activity at all out here along the West Coast. And Trimmer, uh, relatively quiet as well, but not the case today. Um, we're seeing an increase in Trimmer, and that's uh, movement in the Cascadia subduction zone there. Um, and it's still basically within the same spot where we had seen the previous trimmer take place here uh, a couple days ago, uh, three, four days ago there, uh, when they had those large earthquakes off the coast of Vancouver Island out in the Juan de Fuca plate. So now, like I said, an uptick again in the same area of trimmer. Not the same area in the earthquake department, though. If we take a look at the earthquake um, map here real quick and this here is the one day magnitude 2.5 and above quakes uh, you guys can see well check it out you got the Juan de Fuca plate let me see if I can bring this up here see if you guys can see any type of my arrow on this screen I'm not for sure why it doesn't do that let's just raise this up here a little bit more so you guys can see uh, the Juan de Fuca plate is going to be this uh, small little separate plate of itself uh, it's right there kind of I guess it's see where it says the Cascadia Basin it's this whole area that's uh, outlined in red the uh, subduction zone Cascadia mega thrust in zone sits just to the east of the dark red line um, you guys can see the uh, little box popping up there showing you guys the mega thrust Cascadia area and uh, of course where we've seen that trimmer take place is a little bit further downward beneath the north american plate uh, so definitely some movement going on well below the plate there in northern california and southern oregon but uh, there's something new that we're looking at and monitoring right now is the earthquake activity the surface type quaking uh, at 10 kilometers below the surface is now down on the southern part of the Juan de Fuca plate. When we've seen those sixes there and fives, the, the sequence of about nine quakes take place there a few days ago off the coast of Vancouver Island. That was way up here on the northern part 
of the Juan de Fuca plate. And now we've seen that activity shift much further to the south part, kind of there in that triple conjunction zone, um, the Mendocino, I think it's called the Mendocino, um, ah, shoot, I can't remember the name of it, folks. Um, it'll come to me here in a second, but uh, kind of down here in this tri area where there's uh, the end of the Juan de Fuca plate, uh, the Pacific plate, and the North American plate here, all where they kind of meet. Um, and where the Cascadia subduction zone pretty much ends right here. But uh, yeah, interesting activity. Nothing big, uh, but just today, like I said, just today within this area, we've seen these earthquakes here, the largest being a 4.3 magnitude earthquake. That one being right smack dab in that little sequence of quakes there in that little cluster of quakes, if you will, right in the Gorda Ridge Gorda Ridges area of the Juan de Fuca plate. So that means uh, definitely we're seeing continued reuptick in movement uh, in this area. Obviously with the trimmer being picked up in the Cascadia subduction zone, we're seeing uh, uh, surface quaking as well. So it's just, we got to, we got to keep an eye on this area here um, tonight and uh, see what happens uh tomorrow but uh like i said it was pretty pretty quiet yesterday i thought the activity had continued uh, or, or completely died down but uh today's a different story there was a little bit further smaller quake at, or a little bit uh i guess it's not too much smaller 3.7 well off the coast there um off the Juan de fuca plate more or less on the uh, pacific side the pacific side of the plate there and um, just a whole lot of activity in this complex system up here. And uh, of course all this has a part and a play in pressure and subduction here in the Cas Cascadia subduction zone. So just something to monitor out here very, very closely. A little bit further down the plate boundaries here along the San Andreas Fault system, relatively quiet. Did have a couple Earthquakes strike around the area, 3.3 in Berea, California. That's down there by Los Angeles. I'll take you guys down here. Nothing big, but, uh, you know, when a 3.3 hits down there in the Los Angeles suburb area and, or within the vicinity, people kind of take notice, and you see all the news agencies uh, post on their page, did you feel the earthquake? You know, a 3.3 struck, and it's, uh, you know, little earthquakes like this kind of... Uh, opens people's eyes down there even though it's not that big of a deal uh, geologically speaking it's well off the San Andreas fault system but still a, uh, an area that uh, no doubt uh, could have some large quakes down there but right now we're just only seeing that 3.3 in that area and also 2.7 way further down south earthquake activity or aftershock activity continues in the Ridgecrest area a little bit more quieter today um, of course, this is just the uh, 2.5 magnitudes and above. If I were to include all the magnitudes just today, then you would see uh, a little bit jump in the numbers there. Um, of course, this includes all micro earthquakes as well, but relatively quiet it looks like compared to other days. 64 earthquakes in this region of Southern California, Ridgecrest area. And um, so, yeah, that's, that's expected. But uh, most, of, most of the state, relatively quiet, folks, except for the area off of the coast of Northern California. The, um, this area out, out here we need to watch. So rest of the globe, um, let me see if I can pull up the Earthquake 3D globe here real quick. I do want to jump outside real quick again and see if, uh, see if I have any type of clearing. I doubt it, considering uh, <laughs> I was just out there like 20 minutes ago and it was completely overcast. Um, so yeah, last 24 hours of earthquake activity out here in Fiji, relatively looks normal out there. A couple fours popping off, um, slight uptick in activity. It looks like over here in Indonesia islands area, pretty large cluster of quakes there over the last couple days. Um, some fives and fours in there as well. 
some older quake activity which we discussed I believe uh, a couple days ago off the well actually this is kind of new here 5.1 and 5.0 over here near Russia and close to the Aleutian Islands area and uh, of course once you get back down over here in Northern California we're seeing a little uptick and this here is where the newest movement is taking place right now so definitely watching it uh, some interesting activity over here near the New Madrid fault system a 2.5 that's going to be this uh, blue flag right there, 2.5. Nothing, uh, you know, nothing to be concerned about. Even though you know the New Madrid fault system is capable of producing some mega quakes, um, and that's been relatively quiet as far as large quake activity goes for quite some time. But that 2.5 striking near Steel, Missouri, at a depth of uh, 2.8 kilometers near the new madrid fault system uh looks like texas had a little earthquake there 3.0 western texas out there what are we close by let's see pecos texas at a depth of about five kilometers nobody reported filling it but uh, i know there's a lot of desert and, and uh not a whole lot of population density out there in that specific area other than that, folks, um, yeah, pretty crazy. Uh, I could say it's just get it. If you get a chance, folks, head out, head outside probably right about now if you can. Um, sun's probably down here in my area. You may even be past that window of opportunity to see it if you're in the east. Uh, let's say if you're in central mountain time, you still might have a chance to see it here along the west coast. If you're in southern California, you might have some clearing, but uh, here in Northern California, we're looking at pretty cloudy skies. And uh, it's gonna suck, because I kind of wanted to get out there with uh, a camera and get some good shots tonight, but uh, that's all right. We got rain coming in, so that will will be uh, good enough for me anyway. So, have a good night, folks. Um, we will be back on the live stream a little bit later on tonight. So, uh, we'll chat you guys then. Peace.